I tell you this, Ryan. Uh, who are black people supposed to call when we got crimes in our neighborhood? Ghostbusters? <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't trying to laugh, right? No, no, no seriously. I'm, I'm being, I, <laughs> I, I, I said that. I don't know if that little thing they kick out yeah. with the little light yeah. going to do it. No, no, that ain't going to do What's it. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Hit me in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this topic. And also hit that like button for me. But let's get right into it. Guys, Charles Barkley. Hall of Fame NBA player recently went on the Pivot podcast uh, featuring Fred Taylor, uh, Channing Crowder, and also Ryan Clark. And you guys, you know, I don't know what you feel about Ryan Clark, but to me, he one of the weakest people on TV. Now, he went on the <laughs> Pivot podcast and he had an interesting conversation. I would say the conversation went very, very well. However, there was one thing that piqued my interest. Uh, they begin to get into a lot of black community issues and anybody know you know Charles Barkley is one of those people that let's just say how how should we put this uh tell black people the truth that's what he does tell black people the truth and I would say I'm that same type of person you know we want to tell people the truth we want people to have some form of an awakening to what's been pushed and the agenda that's been pushed towards the black community don't let this African attire fool you yes I may be called a coon at time may be called all the Regular right wing slander y'all give to black people. That's fine. You can say what you want to say. I don't care. It's your prerogative, but it's also your problem. Because I'm me. You could be you. But at the end of the day, we're not a monolith. We all should have our own opinions and come to a common ground. What piqued my interest so much about what they're talking about, how the discussion went, is Charles Barkley began to tell black people they should take responsibility for themselves. They should not defund the police they should be able to look at the media and the true agenda of what's going on and the guys went down a path that i believe they will later regret i think that the reason we talk about black on black crime because and not white on white crime because we, we're killing each other at a much faster rate at a much faster rate and then to piggyback on one of your other points the cops actually have shot more white people than black people. Because there's more of them, Charles. I, I know that, but I'm saying, why don't the media cover that? The well, media, because so, so, uh, that, that's what one of my concerns are with the media. Are they with us, against us? Because when the cops shoot white people, they never cover that. When a, when a white cop kills a black kid, it's going right to CNN. They're going to send a crew there. But, and these are all the things I like to talk about because I think they are really important. They're really important. Ahmaud Aubrey. Yes. Who's the white him? George Floyd. Is there a white him? Philando Castile. Philando Castile. Yeah. There's not. It, it, are you saying there there are white people in that same situation? George Floyd. Like, is there a white George Floyd that didn't get on video? Because I don't think so. No. I, I, no. I was just talking about cops shooting people. No. No. I'm saying just yeah. the, the yeah. cop, the, like police brutality. It's is something, a, is a it's name something too. It's, and it's real. It's, and they're, it's they're, very they're, real. They're, and every you played against people that are trash. There's terrible teachers. There's yeah. terrible attorneys. Yep. There's terrible everything. But why do I not hear the stories about the Philando Castile? And I saw a video of that. Why, yeah. uh, George Floyd. I haven't seen a white man get a cop to sit on his neck. Oh, and I, long you, enough you, to kill you, him. You're 100. percent Now, good. as you can see, Tanner Crowder and Ryan Clark begin to list all these different. Uh, Victims, quote unquote, whatever you want to call it. I mean, you got police brutality, rather it's police shootings. However you view it, these people are victims. And I will agree to that because there are a lot of bad police officers out there. Whenever we talk about George Floyd and we talk about there's no white version of this, it bothers me because there is a guy by the name of Tony Temper. Tony Temper was a 32 year old man uh, from the state of Texas my, where I actually reside. And we don't know for sure if he had mental issues overall or he just had a, a drug problem. But this particular day of his life, he was approached by uh, security officers and eventually by the police. And he had fentanyl in his system. Apparently, it's the same drug that George Floyd had within his system. But yes, guys, he died the exact same way as George Floyd. There's footage out there. There's. You know, things you can Google yourself. Please don't believe my word. Trust yourself. Look at it yourself. And some would say, and honestly, I would say, that Tony Temple died worse than George Floyd. Why would I say that? Because the police officers actually laughed, thinking this guy was faking the entire time. 
they laughed at him. To the point when the ambulance re- arrived, they told the police officers, why are y'all laughing? This guy's fucking dead. So what point am I trying to make here? I'm trying to make the exact same point Charles Barkley just made. The point is, the media will not talk about this stuff. They will not point it out to the black community because they have an agenda to push to the black community. They don't have an agenda to push towards whites. They want black people to be emotional so we can vote emotionally. And who will you vote for when you're voting emotionally? People who are pandering to you. And the people who pander the most is the Democratic Party. They want to tell you everything you want to hear. Don't think it's a coincidence that Joe Biden did a speech on the Buffalo shooting and didn't touch the one in Milwaukee. Didn't touch any of the other shooting that's going on. It's midterm election time, guys. Not saying these things were made by the Democratic Party. I'm not saying they decided to send a police officer to shoot somebody or send a mass shooter somewhere. I'm not saying they did this stuff. I'm saying whenever something like this happened, because stuff like this happened every day, they will use this to further their agenda. That's the point of it all. They will use this to further their agenda. So my point, I think the Charles Barkley point was as well, you take your internal instincts. You take the things that you believe on the inside. Not things that are being told to you. Not the things that are being pushed to you. Not the things that are being indoctrinated. They're trying to indoctrinate you with. You take any internal thoughts that you have about the situation and let that be the truth. Even if it means that you may be wrong. I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm wrong a lot. I'm wrong a lot, but I don't care because at the end of the day, I chose what I believed about it, and I can rest easy with that. I much rather <laughs> allow things to play out and me be wrong than to go along with everybody else and be wrong with everybody else. Yeah, I'd rather stand along with my wrong than to be along with everybody else and be wrong. That's how I view life. What I recommend more than anything is to look within, look within yourself, look within God, whatever you believe. The answers are within you. This is Mel. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. And as always, let's grow. Peace.